Welcome to the third of a three video series on finding linear equations, given perpendicular line. Before we can do an actual problem, there are two ideas that need to be developed. First idea is that perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. Now what you're about to see here is not the solving of a math problem, just the development of an idea. Here's an example. Consider these two lines. Let's look at their graphs. For the first line, we can see that it has a y-intercept of 3 and a slope of 2 fifths, meaning I could find another point on that line by going over 5 and up 2. And using those two points, I've now graphed the first equation. Now before you proceed in this video, if the information so far seems unfamiliar to you, I recommend you look at a previous video, Linear Equations in Two Variables Graphing, to see all the particular details of how it is that I'm going about graphing these lines. Let's take a look at the second equation. It has a y-intercept of negative 1 and a slope of negative 5 halves, which means we could get another point on that line by going over 2 and down 5. Now notice that these two lines meet at what appears to be, and in fact is, a 90 degree or right angle. Hence these two lines are what we call perpendicular. One of the things that makes them perpendicular is the fact that their slopes were opposite reciprocals. Here's idea number two. You can find the slope of a line when you know its equation. Here's an equation we use as an example. Suppose I wanted to know the slope of this line. Well, one way to go about it, albeit the long way, is to actually graph the line, which takes a lot of work, and you could tell by the physical appearance of the line and doing some calculations what the slope is. However, there's a much better shortcut for finding the slope of a line without actually graphing it. And that shortcut is by isolating the y or solving for y. So to go about solving this equation for y, I should subtract 5x to get that term away from the y, which would lead me to this. And then to isolate the y or solve for the y completely, I could divide both sides of the equation by negative 3. Now notice on the right side of this equation, I have two terms divided by a single term. A little known algebra fact, if you have two terms divided by a single term, that's mathematically the same as dividing each of those terms by that single term. And that concept allows me to reduce all the fractions in this case and simplify everything down to the form where I have y isolated. And now that I've solved for y, I know the slope of this line is 5 thirds. By the way, it's worth noting that I got 5 thirds by dividing negative 5 by negative 3 using the rule that a negative divided by a negative is a positive. And likewise, this division yielded negative 4. But now that I've put my equation in what's called slope-intercept form, in other words, now that I've isolated y, the coefficient of x is the slope of the line. Now let's get to an actual example on how to find a perpendicular line. So we're given the description of a line if you've watched previous videos, you know, or have seen, that the plan in finding a linear equation is to graph the line, find the slope of the line, and use that slope to find the equation, and then putting that equation in the desired format. If none of that means a lot to you at this moment, it will after I go through all the steps. So first let's graph the line. Well, here's the point negative 1, 2, which we know 
the line that we want contains. So we're looking for some line that goes through that point. But we know that it has to be perpendicular to the line 3x plus 2y equals 9. The line 3x plus 2y equals 9 turns out to be right here. And while I won't give details now, because it will detract from the overall point, you could use any graphing tools that you like to find out where the equation 3x plus 2y equals 9 is. But now, we're looking, uh, and here's a video that, that could give you lots of details on that. Now, we're looking for line A here. Line A isn't this line that you see. Line A is something that goes through the point and is perpendicular to the line you see. And so, there's only one line that goes through that point and is perpendicular to this visible line, and that would be this line right here, which we're calling line A. So line A is what I want the equation of. All right, let's go about finding the slope. Here's my plan. If I can find the slope of 3x plus 2y equals 9, what you see as the red line, and I can use that slope to find line A, which you see as the blue line. And if I can find the slope of line A, I can go on to find the equation of line A, just as I've done in prior videos. If that, general, if that overview uh, didn't mean a lot to you, watch the details and you'll see. So, you may recall this as a formula for slope that you may have seen in other problems. I'm not going to use this formula here because we're looking, we're not given two points and this is a formula that's only useful when you have two points on the line you know, but we only know one point, the point negative one, two. And so since we're only given one point, I don't think that formula is a great idea. It wouldn't be very useful anyways. So we're going to use idea number two here, that we can find the slope of a line if we know its equation. Here's the equation that we know for the perpendicular or red line. And if I can isolate y, I'll know the slope of the perpendicular line. I can then use that to find the slope of the line I want watch and you'll see. What you're witnessing now is the algebra needed to isolate the y. If you need to pause the video and look at the particulars, now would be an okay time. So what this algebra shows is that the perpendicular or red line has a slope of negative three halves. Now, according to idea number one, if we know that that line has a slope of negative 3 halves, then we know that the perpendicular slope would be the opposite reciprocal of that, or positive 2 thirds. Now I know the slope of the line I want. And now that I know the slope of line A, I can find the equation of line A by using my normal point-slope formula. And just to show you where these numbers came from, the two-thirds or slope came from here. The negative one came from my given x-coordinate, and the positive two came from my given y-coordinate. Now, you'll notice in this question, it did not specify whether we should answer in slope-intercept form or standard form or any other form for that matter. And so I'm essentially done with this problem as stated, I have found the equation of line A. Now in most mathematics courses, you will not be allowed to stop at this point. Not because it's not the correct answer, but because it's not in a traditional format. So you'll more than likely be asked to do some algebra, which I did not show here, and convert this into slope-intercept form or standard form, depending on your professor's or the website's preference. Now, I've shown the results here without showing all the algebra that led to them, 
in case you want to pause the video and try the algebra yourself. Either which way, if you want to see more details on how that algebra could be done, please reference a prior video, Finding Linear Equations, Two Points. It gives you a tremendous amount of detail on the algebra that would bring you from point slope form at the top down to either of these two at the bottom. It's also worth noting, you'll notice that I just erased the graph. It's also worth noticing that the graph itself was never used in the solving of this problem. Now, I personally like to draw the graph, but if you're more comfortable not drawing the graph and just doing the algebraic steps, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It certainly won't influence the outcome if you leave the graphs out of it entirely. I personally like them, but they're, they don't serve any algebraic points, so feel free to skip the graphing portion if that's something that sounds like it would be to your liking. So to summarize this problem, I was given the description of a line, and I found the equation of that line in two different formats using the process that you saw. Now you've just been given a lot of information. Let's summarize what, what it was that you just saw. And also, you can, once I'm done with this portion of the video, you can use this overview as a guide or a map to lead you through these problems. So you'll, you're given the description of a line and you're told that it has some point and it's perpendicular to some other line. Let's call that line B. First you find the slope of line B by isolating Y and finding the slope. And once you have the slope of line B, you know that line A has to have an opposite reciprocal slope so now you have the slope of line A. You can use the slope of line A to find the equation using point slope form. And again, these three numbers here that you'll see boxed in lead you to these three numbers here. And once you have numbers in those locations, you do lots of algebra to convert to the format that you want. And that completes the third of three lessons and this video series on finding linear equations.